course of your average day, what you do that is not regulated by the government. Because from the minute you wake up on your regulated mattress and you walk into your regulated bathroom, you go down to your kitchen and you drink your regulated coffee, you go to work in your regulated car and your regulated roads, everything you do except abstract thought that you do not act upon is regulated by the government in some way, shape, or form. It's a pretty good conversation starter. We meet strangers, what do you do? I run an airline. With the regulation, the Civil Aeronautics Board disappeared. It went out of existence. But in a regulated environment, the CAB was the controller of competition among the airlines and was the controller of pricing and, and offerings and so forth that could be made to the public. No industry is unregulated. All industries are regulated. The question is whether they are regulated by government or regulated by consumers and competitors. Before Glow, I was an attorney and more of a business person. And we just couldn't get there from here. We were spending hours on the road in a car or thinking of connection over a hub to get to these mid and Gulf South cities. And in a lot of cases, due to the inconvenience and the factors of cost and time, we just wouldn't go. When the government deregulates an industry, it steps out of the way and now allows entrepreneurs to do what entrepreneurs do, which is try and figure out how can we serve consumers better. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome on Flight 120 from New Orleans to Memphis. My name is Penae, and I'll be serving you in the main cabin this afternoon. I mean, the, the internet's great, phones are great, helicopters are wonderful, but uh, I've never cut a deal over an email. You've got to be there. So when you get deregulation, what happens is you allow the entrepreneurs to present different options to consumers and you then allow the consumers to be the judges of which of these options are better. We're turning five and a half hour drives into 54 minutes. We're turning nine hour drives to an hour and 12 minutes. And entrepreneurs in turn are constantly then focused on the consumers rather than on the policy makers. So we have three aircraft, we're looking for a fourth and uh, we are now at five destinations and we've been in business now five and a half months. And what you see is innovation. Entrepreneurs try different things. Our markets are short haul, they're all non-stop, they all have no competition. This is all this dynamic response to what's possible and what do people want. You don't get with regulation. Instead you get bureaucrats telling you this is what you're going to have. We all might agree that having something like air traffic control is a pretty good idea and that is in fact a form of regulation, right? And I for one, every time I fly, I'm pretty glad to know that these guys are hard at work. Deregulation had nothing to do with the FAA's authority. It didn't affect or didn't change the way safety was regulated. And herein lies the proper role for government in society. Stop people from harming others, but otherwise leave them alone. Let them do what they want. It changed the economic regulation. What it gave was freedom of airlines to start new routes and to develop their business the way they wanted to. Flying is one of those things that started to get incredibly cheap almost the minute the industry was deregulated. That effect of consumers saying, yes, a product is good, therefore I'll buy it and give it money, causes this product, this business to continue. And was there a messy process at the beginning of deregulation? There absolutely was. And when consumers withhold their dollars and say, this is, I don't like this product, I don't like what they're doing, it's, it's a bad experience, I'm not going back there again. Furthermore, I'm going to tell my friends they're not going to go back there again, right? People complained quite vociferously about the quality that they were receiving in the marketplace. And so what happens is this, this business starts to get starved of resources. But that corrected incredibly quickly. That's consumer regulation in action. I argue it works a heck of a lot better than government regulation. Almost immediately, small carriers emerged, specialty carriers with lines that had never existed before. Pre-existing lines got cheaper within a year of the deregulation. So that's the freedom that it provided to the airlines. They could now make business decisions based on where traffic was. So the deregulation led directly to competition, it led directly to innovation, and it led to a condition now, all these years later, where the average American doesn't think twice about flying. It's not prohibitively expensive anymore. We're able to keep our prices in a range that are lower than the, the alternative prices of going by way of Atlanta and saving a lot of time. And that, I think, is the power of a deregulated market.